Prison originally proposed his classification scheme for papilledema based on ophthalmoscopic signs related to axonal edema. Later on, Frizen himself, along with Scott and colleagues, slightly modified this grading system, providing greater clarity and better reproducibility. Grade 0, the optic disc is normal and there is no papilledema. Some prominence of the retinal nerve fiber layer at the nasal, superior and inferior borders of the disc inversely proportional to the disc size may be seen. That is, a mild absence of clarity of the nasal and temporal borders by the overlying nerve fiber bundles in very large discs can occur. However, the peripapillary nerve fiber bundle pattern is always strictly radial without axon bundle tortuosity and there is no C-shaped halo surrounding the disc. In grade 1, there is a subtle C-shaped greyish halo with a temporal gap in the region of the papillomacula bundle. This is due to a mild obscuration of the nasal disc margin and disruption of the normal radial arrangement of nerve fiber bundles. The temporal disc margin is normal. In grade 2, the halo becomes circumferential. Now there is nasal margin elevation and obscuration of the entire temporal margin, but no major vessel obscuration, that is, the central artery and vein on the disc and its margin are clearly seen. In grade 3, all the borders are elevated and they obscure one or more segments of the major retinal vessels as they leave the disc. The central portion of these vessels is however clearly seen. The disc diameter appears increased and the halo surrounding the disc has an irregular fringe. In grade 4, there is an elevation of the entire optic nerve head including the cup, in addition to which there is total obscuration of a segment of at least one but not all major vessels on the disc. And finally, in grade 5, there is obscuration of all the vessels on and leaving the disc.